Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to tackle a topic that often sparks discussion, how older men can flirt with younger women in a respectful and mindful manner. Now, before we dive in, let's establish one thing. Flirting should always come from a place of genuine interest and respect. It's about making a connection, not making anyone uncomfortable. So, let's explore some tips together. Respect boundaries. In any interaction, respect is essential, especially if there's an age gap. Remember, everyone has different boundaries. Pay close attention to both what someone says and how they act. If you notice someone seems uneasy or not interested, it's crucial to back off politely. Respect means understanding and accepting someone's comfort levels. It's about being sensitive to their feelings and needs. This might mean not pushing a conversation too far or not making certain jokes. It's all about creating a safe and comfortable space for both people involved. Verbal cues are the words someone uses, while nonverbal cues are things like body language and facial expressions. Both are important indicators of how someone feels. If someone is avoiding eye contact or seems tense, it's a sign to take a step back. Gracefully backing off means doing so without making the other person feel awkward or pressured. It's about respecting their feelings and giving them space. Remember, respecting boundaries is a sign of maturity and consideration for others. By doing so, you're creating a positive and respectful interaction for everyone involved. Engage in meaningful conversation. When you're talking with someone younger, it's important to go deeper than just surface stuff. Ask about what they're passionate about, their hopes and goals, and the things that have shaped who they are. Showing real interest in what they have to say and really listening sends a strong message that you see them as a person, not just as someone young. Maybe they're into art, sports, or volunteering. Whatever it is, ask them about it and let them share their enthusiasm. By doing this, you're letting them know that their thoughts and feelings matter to you. Plus, it helps you both connect on a deeper level, which is the foundation of any meaningful relationship. So, next time you're chatting with someone younger, Take the time to ask about their interests and really listen. It's a simple way to show that you value them as an individual. Be mindful of power dynamics. Understand that because of differences in age and life experiences, there can be a power imbalance when older men flirt with younger women. It's essential to be aware of this dynamic to ensure fairness and respect in your interactions. Avoid using your age or life experiences to gain an unfair advantage or control the situation. Instead, Focus on creating a balanced and equitable exchange where both parties feel valued and respected. Remember, genuine connections are built on mutual understanding and respect, not on exploiting power differentials. So, keep your interactions grounded in equality and mutual respect to foster genuine connections and avoid any potential for manipulation or coercion. Compliment thoughtfully. Compliments are a great way to make someone feel good about themselves but it's important to do it right. Instead of just talking about how someone looks, focus on what makes them unique and special. For example, you could tell them how much you admire their intelligence, creativity, or the way they light up a room with their personality. It's all about being genuine and respectful. Avoid saying things that make the other person feel like they're being objectified or reduced to just their appearance. Instead, show them that you see them as a whole person with many wonderful qualities. For instance, if you're impressed by their artistic talent, you might say something like, I really admire your creativity. The way you express yourself through your art is truly inspiring. This kind of compliment acknowledges their skills and talents, showing that you appreciate them for who they are beyond their looks. Similarly, if you're drawn to someone's intellect, you could say something like, I love how thoughtful and insightful you are. Our conversations always leave me feeling inspired and challenged. This kind of compliment lets them know that you value their mind and intellect, which can be incredibly flattering. The key is to be sincere and specific with your compliments. Instead of using generic phrases, take the time to notice the things that truly impress you about the other person. This shows that you're paying attention and that your admiration is genuine. Remember, compliments should uplift and empower the other person, not make them feel uncomfortable or objectified. So always think carefully about what you say and how it might be received. By focusing on someone's inner qualities and unique talents, you can make them feel truly valued and appreciated. Respect their autonomy. 
It's important to understand that younger women are independent and can make their own choices. Don't act like a father figure or assume you know what's right for them. Respect their ability to decide for themselves and honor their choices. Treat them as equals and avoid being overly controlling or authoritative. Instead, engage in open and respectful communication. Show interest in their opinions, preferences, and goals. By acknowledging their autonomy, you create a space where they feel valued and respected. Remember, relationships should be based on mutual understanding and consent. So, listen actively, be supportive, and let them guide the direction of the interaction. This approach fosters trust and builds a foundation for healthy connections. Always prioritize their autonomy and empower them to make decisions that are best for themselves. This mindset promotes equality and ensures that both parties feel heard and respected in the interaction. Embrace humor and lightness. Flirting is not just about serious conversations. It can also involve a bit of humor to make the atmosphere relaxed and enjoyable. When flirting, it's okay to be playful, but it's essential to make sure that your jokes are respectful and inclusive. Humor can lighten the mood and make interactions more enjoyable for both parties. It can help break the ice and create a comfortable environment where everyone feels at ease. However, it's crucial to be mindful of the type of humor you use. Respectful humor is key. Avoid making jokes at someone else's expense or using humor that could be offensive or hurtful. Instead, focus on lighthearted topics that everyone can laugh about. Keep the tone positive and uplifting to ensure that everyone feels included and valued. Being inclusive means considering the feelings and perspectives of everyone involved. Avoid jokes that rely on stereotypes or make assumptions based on gender, age, or any other characteristic. Instead, aim for humor that celebrates diversity and brings people together. For example, you might share a funny anecdote or tell a lighthearted joke that everyone can relate to. Keep it light and playful, and be sure to gauge the other person's response to ensure that they're comfortable with the humor. Remember that humor is subjective, so what one person finds funny, another might not. If you're unsure about a joke, it's always better to err on the side of caution and choose something more universally appealing. Ultimately, the goal of using humor and flirting is to create a positive and enjoyable experience for everyone involved. By being mindful of the type of humor you use and ensuring that it's respectful and inclusive, you can help foster a connection and make the interaction memorable for all the right reasons. Know when to step back. Sometimes, even if you're really trying, the spark just might not be there for both people. If you feel like the other person isn't interested or feels uneasy, it's important to take a step back and give them their space. It's totally okay if things don't click romantically every time you meet someone new. The most important thing is to respect their feelings and boundaries. When you sense that the other person isn't into it, it's best to gracefully back off. This means not pushing them or trying to convince them otherwise. Everyone has their own preferences and comfort levels, and it's essential to honor that. By respecting their boundaries, you're showing that you value their feelings and autonomy. Remember, not every interaction has to lead to something romantic. Sometimes, you'll hit it off with someone right away, and other times, you might not feel that same connection. And that's perfectly fine. It's all part of the process of getting to know different people and figuring out what works for you. So, if you find yourself in a situation where the chemistry isn't mutual, don't take it personally. Instead, focus on being respectful and understanding. Who knows? You might forge a great friendship instead, or perhaps you'll meet someone else down the line who's a better match for you. The key takeaway here is to always prioritize mutual respect and consent in your interactions. By doing so, you'll create a positive and welcoming environment where everyone feels comfortable and valued. And who knows? You might just end up finding that special connection when you least expect it. And there you have it. Some tips for older men to flirt respectfully with younger women. Remember, the key is to approach interactions with kindness, empathy, and a genuine desire to connect. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, take care and happy flirting.